In this video, I will help you fix all the major errors in Red Dead Redemption 1, including black screens, disappearing objects, people and police not shooting, lag and stutter, disappearing NPCs and animals, missions getting stuck during gameplay, and even improving the game's performance with smoother gameplay and higher FPS. To fix all these gameplay problems in Red Dead Redemption 1, we will install two amazing mod packs. To ensure your game remains intact even if something goes wrong, I'll first share steps on how to create a backup of your game. First, open your Red Dead Redemption 1 directory folder, which you can find in the location shown on your screen based on your game edition. After that, go back one folder and create an empty folder. Rename this folder to Backup. Once you've created this backup folder, copy your entire Red Dead Redemption 1 folder and paste it inside the backup folder we just created. This will ensure that if something goes wrong during mod installation or settings changes, you will still have your original game as a backup. Once the files are copied, go back and open your Red Dead Redemption 1 directory again. Once you're here, position the Red Dead Redemption 1 folder on the left side of the screen to make it easier to follow the steps. Next, open your web browser and search for the mod pack called Disable Shadows Mod. Don't worry, this mod won't completely disable all game shadows. It will only remove the less important ones, which will increase your game's FPS. Simply scroll down to the Files section, click the Manual Download button, and save the files to your computer. Here is my file that I downloaded for installation. We will now move this folder to the right side of the screen. If you're following along, you should have your Dead Redemption 1 folder on the left and the Mods folder on the right. Next, open the Mods folder and I need you to copy the second RPF file called Tune D11 Generic. After copying it, go to the game folder in the Red Dead Redemption 1 directory and paste it there, replacing the existing file. Now we will install our second mod, but before proceeding, I need you to test your game. If the game works well on your computer and the gameplay is smoother and playable, congratulations! However, if you still don't notice much improvement and want better performance, we will install our second mod pack called No Grass and Trees. Don't worry, this mod will only reduce some less important trees and lower the grass density around the player, which will significantly improve performance. It can also fix issues like police not shooting or people and animals disappearing for no reason. On the mod page, scroll down to the Files section and download the latest version of this mod using the manual download button. To install this mod pack, you will also need a small tool called Magic RDR. Scroll down a bit further and download the first zip file, which contains the tools pack. Here are the files I've downloaded the No Grass mod and the Magic RDR file. First, open the Magic RDR file using WinRAR. Do not extract this file, otherwise it won't work. After opening the zip with WinRAR, navigate to the debug folder and open Magic RDR within the WinRAR app. Double-click to launch the app and click Run to allow it. Once the Magic RDR program is open, place it on the left side of the screen. Then, open your Mods folder and place it on the right side of the screen. Now, pay attention and follow these steps exactly. First, open your Mods folder and go to the No Grass Files folder. Here you will find three files that we will install today. In Magic RDR, click on Files from the top menu, and then click Open. From here, go to your Red Dead Redemption 1 main directory folder, then navigate to the Game folder. Scroll down and find the grassres.rpf file, click on it, and open it. Now in Magic RDR, we have our grassres file opened. Click on grassres to view its files and scroll down to the very bottom of the screen. Here you will find the same three files that we have in the No Grass folder. As you may have guessed, we will now replace these files with our modified versions. To do this, right-click on the first Patches file and select the Replace File option. Click on the three-dot button, then select the corresponding Patches file from the files you downloaded. This is the file that I selected using the app. Once you select the Patches file from your Mods folder, click on the Open button. Under no circumstances should you click on the Replace Name button, do not check this checkbox. Instead, simply click on the Replace button to replace the file. Once it's replaced properly, it should show up as green highlighted, which means it has been successfully modified or applied. Just like that, we will replace the other two files. Right-click on the second valid instance.rdr file, click Replace, and replace it with the corresponding file from your mods folder. Then, click Replace to apply the change. Similarly, replace the last valid instance terrain playground file. Again, make sure to follow all the steps carefully, otherwise you might mess up and have to reinstall the whole game. However, if you have the backup of your Red Dead Redemption 1 that we created at the start, there is nothing to worry about. Alright, I have now installed this amazing mods pack, and it's time to test the game. Here I am in Red Dead Redemption 1, and I can feel the game running a lot smoother. I will post a few more videos before 2025, and might even make videos on RDR 2, so look out for those. Leave a like, subscribe, and watch this video on your screen.